everyone and welcome back to The Well-Educated Artist. I'm Miranda and today we are going to be painting trees. Now normally when I paint trees they look a little more like this. Realistic. I like trees. I paint a lot of trees. Okay. But today we're going to be doing a tree swipe. So a pore painting abstract tree swipe using the technique of a middle swipe. So let's get started. Okay, we have our canvas. It is a nine by 12 inch canvas that is already prepared with tape and feet. And what we need to do is lay down a base. We're gonna be using a white base, which I have mixed up. It is Liquitex Basics, Floetrol, a little bit of water, and a little bit of enamel paint, satin enamel paint. I just wanna see what happens. There's not much in it, so it's probably not gonna to affect it too much, but who knows? So we'll go ahead and we'll put this on our canvas. It's feeling a little pillowy. Okay, so the thinking today is that we normally will go up the middle because this is a variation on a middle swipe and we are gonna be doing our swiping, but I would like to do um, a certain color up top that's different from the bottom. I will use a color that will go through both, but I would like to have some variation up top like the sky and the bottom like we're looking um, in perspective at a landscape. So to start with, I'm going to lay a foundation of Prussian blue um, down. I'm actually going to keep it as my dark color and I'm going to keep it more here. When I go up top, I am going to choose to use a sapphire blue instead, so a lighter blue. And I'm just going to continue that blue down but my darker color is not gonna be quite as dark. Okay, so we have sapphire blue and we have Prussian blue so far. And then the difference is up top, I am definitely going to go with some more blues. In this case, um, this is a Viridian blue. It's a blue green, it's both green and blue and we can continue it on. I don't care about a little drips few drips are good and I'm also going to add up top and to the bottom a teal blue actually I believe this is turquoise blue it's teal but it's turquoise is the color that's actually a pre-mixed paint from master's touch I believe and uh, I like the way it works with things the sapphire is also a pre-mixed from a master's touch some of my colors I use pre-mixed because I really love them I love how they work with the paint and then others I mix myself. Up top, because I want to get the illusion of the sunrise, I'm going to also put a little bit of yellow and the yellow I'm not going to put so much of down here, maybe just a tad. And then another dark down the bottom that you won't see probably up top is I'm going to add brown like you would actually have in a tree. And it's generally darker toward the bottom. That being said, I am going to add a green in the bottom as well. These things keep snapping. I won't be buying these again. I'm gonna add green at the bottom as well. Maybe a little bit of green at the top. There's nothing on the little bit of green. And then I'm also going to add a light green. It's gonna go all the way up. So we've got quite a mixture of colors. If you wanted a sunset, you probably can add even an orange color up there. 
Um, why not? Why not? We're kind of being sort of safe, and I'm going to go not safe and add a little bit of orange, and maybe even carrying it a little bit down here. Okay, it's a middle swipe, and we're going to be swiping this way and then this way from the center line so that we have a center line for our tree. Before I start, I'm actually going to run a line of white down the middle just to give me a guide. Okay, and I'm also going to try out the gold, a new gold I have, and I'm just going to put it down the middle as well. I'm just experimenting today with my different colors. Right. So I'm going to use transparency film and I am going to swipe, you could do, this one can actually swipe about half. I'm going to actually go where I have a division and I am going to swipe from there. So I'm gonna lay it on my gold, which is about halfway, and I am going to swipe outward, okay? And now I am going to clean it. Now there is no silicone in these colors. I can tell you that there's absolutely no silicone. I'm going to do it on the other side now, but we are getting cells. Lay it at about the same place. I'm actually going to switch my films. Another dirty piece of film. They don't come clean very well. I don't have a lot of patience for washing these films, but we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and now go from the bottom. Ooh, we've got some breakage there. I'm going to do that again. A little more pressure on that one. Okay. And now, oh yeah. Got a little bit of a problem right there. I'm going to swipe that. One more time. Don't want to swipe too much, end up with mud, but I do since I went over it. I do want to swipe again. I'm actually let's see if I can get a little more color down here. I can see what the enamel is doing to the paint causing it to do some strange things, which is fine. So this is what our background is looking like. So it'll be interesting to see how our tree pans out. Move that up just a little bit. I am switching is what you're going to see me do is I'm going to switch uh, palette knives this one to a little bit smaller and I'm going to be wiping my paint as I go Switching palette knives again. You'll sometimes see me go over them. I have to think about how I want 
them and it's it's hard if you do paint acrylics you're like I really want there to be some I really want there to be some highlights but I know this is an abstract tree it's just sometimes that's hard and you're gonna see me go through and add some things to it because I like texture and you know I like to say well here is where you know here is where not lives on the tree right I also I'm going to come down here this is not my favorite palette knife I don't think I may switch again I don't have good control with that one let's try a smaller one I'm going to add some roots down at the bottom of my tree certain trees like maple trees they have lots of roots I'm not saying this is a maple tree but they do have lots of roots and we have this brown down here and it just makes sense to add my tree some roots some exposed roots okay. now I'm definitely not done I'm actually going to switch back to this one I just think it's working a little bit better hmm it's like what do I want to do I want to play on the surface of the paint more so that I don't dig down too far I think I've got a lot of white and there's gonna be some white some negative space down here as well which is not my favorite And I'm actually, because that is it, I am going to just run a line of a few things in there. I don't like how that looks down there. Okay, cover up some of that white. There's nothing wrong with negative space, but we don't want too much white. At least I don't. Okay, also I'm not real crazy about that. Uh oh, should have left that alone. Getting too much white. I don't like that. <laughs> My belief is if you don't like something, you fix it. I'm not done, I'm just thinking. <laughs> you like that? I'm actually gonna start doing some smaller. I'm gonna use my skewer to do that. There are a lot of trees that have very small limbs, like a pecan tree. I told you I paint lots of trees. I really like my trunk of my tree, but I feel like I don't have enough. I really like what's going on over here and I hate to do this. Get my trusty Bob Ross over here. knot that I liked was has sort of disappeared but hey I want there to be a place there
don't know about you, but sometimes I make up stories about my trees. What animal is in that tree? If it's a special tree. You can make a comment below on what kind of tree you think this is. I'm actually gonna cut a little bit of my transparency to see what happens. Mm. Transparency film works very well. And also so does lamination paper for a laminator. That works great as well to do this. But cardstock, cards, I've seen people use cards themselves. Whatever floats your boat. Gonna work on my roots a little bit down here for this tree. If you do traditionally paint, it sometimes drives you crazy that you can't add detail, but you can do enough. I'm actually going to add in some detail. The bark of a tree, now I now have my knot back. I really would like to add some highlight. We've lost some of our definition across that one and I don't like that we've lost some definition that is the problem if you don't use darker if you don't use a darker color sometimes you lose it and this is what's happened here I've lost the darkness I've lost the contrast. But I am going to add some contrast. What's cool about the cell formation in this particular painting, and the cell formation is mainly coming from the enamel, and that's why you see so much cell. But I like it because it's giving my tree the illusion of bark. It's probably about time to stop because I am notorious for overdoing my paintings. Like, when do I stop? Well, now is probably the time to stop. He's starting to look a little, starting to look a little bit like a rose bush. And with that, I think I am done. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to this. It looks pretty cool and I'm happy with it. And I'm going to see what happens. I'm actually going to torch this We've already got lots of cells, and I don't want to ruin it, but we'll make sure there's no bubbles, and there are, I can see them. And that is our tree middle swipe. It actually looks like the tree is in the ocean. That was not my intent. I've wanted that to be ground, but sometimes you add greens and browns and earthy colors, and you end up getting something that looks like it's on the ocean and there's clouds but you know what that's how it goes a lot of the gold there up is up there where the sky was so 
This is a magical place with a magical tree. Let's go. Cool.